Oh, okay, no. we're good. Hi. All right. What's up, everyone? This is Jason Tucker. This is WP Water Cooler, episode number 139. Today, we're going to be recapping WordCamp Orange County 2015. Let's go around the very large room here and get everyone introduced. We always start with Chris, because he's a letter C. Chris, tell us about yourself. Hey, I'm Chris Summa, and uh, you can find me blogging at chrissummer.com. I run the North County San Diego WordPress Meetup, and I work for Crowd Favorite. Awesome. Dave, what about you, my friend? I am uh, Dave Margowski. I'm the project manager at Spectrum Technologies, and I was honored to be the lead organizer for WordCamp Orange County this year. Awesome, awesome. Good job, man. Good job, man. Josh, are you are you uh, comfortable? Whoa. No. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> that was amazing. That was amazing. Terrible. I gotta keep going. All right, so what about you, Priscilla? Tell us about yourself. Hi, I'm Priscilla Christian, and I was thrilled to be invited to help out with WordCamp um, Orange County as a volunteer organizer. Very cool, like an actual volunteer organizer. I no. organize volunteers. Awesome. Nice. <laughs> I wrangled them. We're all volunteers. You, hey, you were the volunteer, volunteer volunteer organizer. But I wasn't wrangling the organizers. You guys were all doing your own efficient job. Doing a wonderful job of it. Uh, Brandon, Robert, tell us about your stuff real quick. Uh, my name is Robert Ninehouse, and I'm creative director of Nine Studios Design and Creative. I'm Brandon Dove, lead engineer at Pixigar. And is there an earthquake over there? <laughs> 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 no. Yeah. That's all right. What about you? What about you? What about you, Sarah? Hi, I'm Sarah Weefald. I'm the production manager at Zeke Interactive, and I was also honored to be the Minister of Propaganda for this weekend's WordCamp Orange County. Nice. Hey, you weren't there, but tell us about yourself. I know, but I was in spirit and on Twitter. Um, uh, my name is Say Reed, and I do WordPress these things stuff, blah, 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 at Say Reed Media on all the things. Awesome. Steve? I'm Steve Zinkin. I'm the founder of Zeke Interactive, and I run the OC WordPress Meetup, and I was in charge of sponsorships. Money, 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 money! Money! Yep. Suzette, what about you? Hello, everybody. I'm Suzette Frank, and I spoke at WordCamp Orange County, and I also participated in Plugin Palooza, and I am a freelancer, and I work for myself. Awesome. <laughs> I'm Jason Tucker. You can find me, Jason Tucker, on Twitter, and I blog over at wpmedia.pro and jasontucker.us. So, let's 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 talk a little bit about this. What if uh, you know if this is the first time someone's ever watched this episode or watched any of our episodes, and they're like, "What the heck is a word camp? Uh, who wants to define what a word camp is, real fast?" Who's that person? Word camp. There is, there is those people. Word camp is a, a small local conference discussing WordPress organized locally and um, featuring uh, local and national WordPress speakers. Wow, you, you looked at and it. And it's really very fast. inexpensive. Well, yes. Affordable, accessible. Can uh, usually get all like two, levels. Two or three days of different sessions for like forty bucks. And you get lunch, and there's an after party, and a T-shirt, and swag, and it's a really awesome. Yes, I have the swag. See, <laughs> and <laughs> y'all be swagging out. It's swagging out. Yes, <laughs> and it's a great opportunity to meet like new people, or get help, or just hang out and with all the cool WordPress people. And be with your peoples. Now, not now. To be clear, not every camp has swag that's designed as well as this particular camp. Yes, Word, Word Camp Orange County has a long history of having the swag that pretty much everybody else goes, oh, check it out. And it's not just because of the items. It's not the super cool mug, which was awesome, or the stickers. It, a lot of it is the design, the design behind the swag, the design that makes the swag. Uh, and, and we happen to have the designer on the show today. Yes, we do. Um, yeah. <laughs> We did not use Great Fiverr. design. <laughs> I was looking at, back through the past yeah. years of Orange County Word Camps, and I was looking at all the different designs, and it's like it's an awesome, it's an awesome progression. You know, like every every year is awesome since this is year number six, right? Wow. It, yeah. Yeah, I think I went to every one except for the first one. And so Brandon was doing these with. 
Jeff way early on, right? Were you guys the first ones to kick it off, or how did that yeah, start out I mean, real quick? Yeah, once Robert got involved, that's when the designs really got good. Uh, yeah. That, it, was, it was me twirling out some like best logos and, and Illustrator. Is there yeah. closed captioning for that? For him? For them? <laughs> what? I don't know what you just said. Sorry. You don't speak English? <laughs> no, she speaks uh, LA to learn actually, different Actually, actually Brandon, the, the truth is she doesn't speak English. <laughs> that, that explains all 138 episodes before this one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't speak English and I'm a Gemini. Whoa. Yeah. Watch out. Happen. Anyway, sorry. What were you saying? Proceed. That's I'll right. listen better. I'll listen harder. Uh, I was just saying that, yes, uh, Jeff and I started the first year, and then Robert got involved as well. Uh, so it's been the last it's the last five years, five years of this year, it was just uh, just Robert and I, or sorry, just Jeff and I. And uh, this year we got a much larger team. We got a lot, a lot, of, uh, a lot of good contribution there. Very cool. So, and then, then you had the handoff of going over to Margowski and... Uh, <laughs> And having him actually, you know, take on take on the role of of kind of running the camp. Dave, how'd that go for you? And how did that, you know, how this all kind of play out early what on? What was what was your favorite part, Dave? Uh, my favorite part was the uh, plug in a palooza. Woo! Yeah. Tell tell people what that is. Yeah. What is this? I'm still confused. And sure. I... Okay. We had a. Well, it was Steve Zangit's idea. Uh, Great idea. Great idea. Great idea. He said, "Let's let's do a competition where people have to build a plugin." And we said, "Okay, well, how are we going to do that? Because obviously they're not going to be able to do it in three and a half an hour uh, you know, hours." So we started right away, and we got people to sign up and agree to to make a plugin. They did the plugin, and uh, we basically did an American Idol style presentation <laughs> to decide. Chris who was the MC. Plugin. He was awesome. He was awesome. Yeah. Chris was Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> You took the words With out of my mouth. Both and Beacon was Simon Cowell. <laughs> and we even had uh, um, Scott Bollinger was, was Paul Abdul, and I forget the other one. <laughs> Scott Bollinger would totally be like Paul Abdul, because he didn't say anything mean about anybody ever. Dave, Dave Jesh was, uh, was Randy. That's right, that's right, that's the other one. <laughs> but, but the competition... Yeah. But the competition was great because all the all the plugin development had happened before, right? And so then it was just the show to do the reveal. Here's the plugin, and we could talk to them and interview them and what have you. And then the judges judged, and then there was a winner. And there was actually sponsored by Sakuri, our friends at Sakuri. Um, there was actually cash gifts, right? I mean, um, there was money to be made, which is crazy but cool. Cash money. Cash money. Cash money. So wait, um, I just sent the winners off to Sakuri, and it's uh, it's like a, it was a five hundred dollar cash first prize, and uh, like a year subscription, yeah, for their uh, their business sign up for a year. So it's it was like a thousand dollar first place and seven hundred and fifty second. Um, who can you tell us about the plugins? Yeah, there were okay. three. Uh, the winner was uh, WP Rollback from uh, Devin Walker and uh, Word Matt Intra. Cromwell. Okay, Matt Cromwell. And uh, Brandon, yeah, and uh, <laughs> sets you sets you so you can roll back your plugin, uh, uh, you know, to a previous version. Or uh, we had CC Devs or Theme, right? CC Devs from John Hawkins, uh, which allowed uh, I don't actually understand what it allowed because you know. I'm a, <laughs> <laughs> it it allows you to specify devs as um, when you have the admin email in WordPress and you switch that off. It allows you to add extra emails to that. So yeah, there you go. And, and allows yeah. you to unsubscribe yourself from those add in admin emails, even yes. if you don't have access to the WordPress backend. Which yeah, it's, it's it. fancy. It, it uses a transient. Nice. It's awesome. fancy. Transients, yes. Nice. And then the other one? And WP Art Store from Suzette. What's WP Art Store? It is an easy way to add like a shopping cart to your WordPress site without WooCommerce. So it's really designed for like those people that have like one to five products or you know a small number of products and WooCommerce is just too too many features so it adds a PayPal button. 
and um, it uses a custom post type and it shows the meta information for each artwork. It's it's for artists and are photographers. Are you going to be maintaining that because I have clients who could use that? Yes, it's it's not quite ready for prime time. We didn't quite finish it. I mean, it's it's ready right now, but there are some more features that I wanted to add to it. Cool. I, I look forward to it. its its reveal. Yes. So also all three of these plugins are in the repo already. Yeah, they're in the repo. That was WP part of the rules. Art Store is in the repo. Repo always sounds so like dramatic to me. The plugin the WordPress plugin directory. Yeah, yeah, somebody told me that repo is like the improper terminology for it. Like for repo is like like Grim Reaper. Yeah. Like like repo man? Or yeah, if you like think too much of Rebo, you know, like if you say someone's the Rebo. What is All right, that? So mean? what what <laughs> else what else did people like other than Plugin Palooza? Uh, Steve, what was your favorite part? Um, I, I gotta go with the business workshop. <laughs> tell, Watching, us, uh, tell us tell us <laughs> yeah, what I know. Uh, so Jeff Turner, there were uh, there were four speakers, and then Jeff Turner moderated, and he interviewed. Uh, he gave a very um, uh, tough interview to all four speakers, which I, I really liked. I mean, I love his interview style, but that's really what uh, made this special. Was he he dug down in, for each speaker uh, and and really made it great. So I was happy with that. Um, not on the business talk, but actually kind of related to that. Um, I noticed. Again, I didn't attend, so this is through my lurking uh, and you know perusing the schedules and whatnot. But um, I saw an inordinate, inordinate amount of talks that were not on Saturday, which is definitely prime WordPress day, uh, that were more general. They were about business. They were about burnout. They were about sales. They were about customer service. They were about SEO. All these things that didn't necessarily they weren't necessarily uh, WordPress focused in the topic. Maybe you know in the application, but can you one of y'all organizers? So, go ahead, Dave. Yeah, sure. What what the the idea was to try and kind of balance between uh, design development, business, and um, you know uh, something that would be good for everyone. Uh, it's just like a general kind of topic, and to really sort of space them out throughout the talk, so we weren't so heavy and we weren't sticking with a single track on a specific day that you just follow through. Um, I, I actually really like it when you move around and you're doing a bunch of stuff. So if you wanted to hop, you could hop. If you wanted to stick, you could stick. And try to wow. cover it all. Yeah. The hopping is the best because then you get to sit next to somebody different and mm -hmm. you get to find out who they are and what they do with WordPress. And it's, it's, it's the most awesome hopping. No, I called, I called same seat every single time I left. <laughs> really? Yeah, and that just, that just applies, right? Yeah, just no taxi back to you. Yeah. Um, I thought Alex Vasquez gave a fantastic talk. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad I missed his talk. I can't wait. For Alex Vasquez is talk. a fantastic talk. Yeah, but his talk was his talk was new and different. It was about vulnerability. Yeah, it was really personal. It, I mean, I think a lot of people in there really connected well with it. Yep. Well, what else? What did you guys learn this weekend? Did anyone learn anything? You're all you're all you know high end devs and whatnot. So. Learning things about WordPress is not necessarily what y'all are happening with, but um, other than that, Alex is vulnerable. New <laughs> stuff. Um, that. <laughs> what else did you guys learn this weekend? I learned that I'm old. <laughs> we yeah. also knew that. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> but I mean, I learned. I learned it. I learned you learned it. it. You accepted yeah. it. You yeah. mean? Three days straight of WordCamp is really taking its toll. Steve, did you pull a hip? <laughs> <laughs> He, he did. Uh, it's probably truer than it's funny. It's funny because it's true. Yeah. There's a video that shows that you actually pulled the hip. I saw. <laughs> I also really like Jacob Ariola's talk mm -hmm. about uh, the way that he sets up all of his front end development. Um, you know, it didn't really get into any of the actual development that he does. Just how he sets everything up with Bower and Gulp, and it was it was cool. Yeah, and I think that one thing. For for Jacob, like he he sort of demoed his talk a little bit at the last developer meetup here in Orange County, and I think sort of outside of the attendee uh, view, practicing your presentation before you actually give it to a local meetup is huge. And I think that really what it, it does help. That's a, yeah. that's a foreign concept to me. I know, and for especially for a lot of Steves in this room, um, <laughs> doing slides and stuff beforehand. What? And actually practicing those in front of an audience is huge. So um, for any speakers who are watching, definitely 
Give that a try. It might might just benefit you. Speaking of awesome speakers, um, via Twitter, I detected that people were very fond of uh, Jennifer Bourne's uh, talk. She did which, great. Which yeah, was, she was on, She's awesome. She's just awesome sauce in a box. <laughs> well, uh, she's awesome sauce in a box and has a great brand, does a lot of awesome blogging, and yes. uh, puts a lot of cool info out there. What was her talk about? Uh, selling Designing, design. Yeah. Selling design. Did anyone go to it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yep. I, I was there. <laughs> a, bunch, a bunch of the tweets were mine as I took pictures of her slides and her talking and then sent out her main points, and people uh, people were retweeting them and all that. She was fantastic, She, but she always is. But this was a really great talk. She uh, she talked about selling a million dollars over the last 10 years, selling a million dollars worth of design, and everyone was like, you know, wow, okay. And then she's like, yeah, but it's in 10 years, so kind of like, yeah, like whatevs. And then she's like, but that was no development, no websites, just design. And then uh, and, and then people are like, huh, that's interesting. And then she's like, and the average dollar rates ranged from $250 to like $3,000 or whatever, right? And that's when people were like, I'm sorry, what, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. You sold a million dollars worth of design, $3,000 at a time. <sighs> How the hell did you do that, right? Um, and so she was giving people tips, right, and how to do it without pitching, right? So it's a, it's a consultative, uh, educational approach to sales. It was uh, one of my favorite talks of of the uh, conference. Although I must admit, I only attended about thirty percent of the talks. So um, that's more than me. I I think I only saw Natalie McLeese. Yeah, there were other talks going on, and I missed them. And I I was like, oh, I want to see that one. I I missed some of them. Uh, but uh, but she she was fantastic. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't get to see a lot of talks on Saturday either because I was running around doing stuff, but I yeah. did see uh, uh, Scott Bollinger uh, who gave an excellent presentation. How was um, uh, Kamal? Because I, I know he's a new speaker. Did anybody go to the uh, Designing for Seniors? That I, was, heard that was great. Me, uh, I heard it was I great too. <laughs> I, heard, I, I heard, heard it was great. I heard incredible feedback um, that people really loved it. And it's great when you see a new speaker doing a talk that no one's even thought about doing a talk on, right? And he's just going out and doing something different and saying, this is the thing I do and this is the thing you may want to think about. And then people came away going, that was fantastic. It's he a different level of accessibility, you know? Yeah. Totally he not only presented, he, he, he was a volunteer all day, and you know, except for when he presented. And then he came back Sunday and did it all over again. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, great. Nice. yeah, he was he was helping me out with uh, doing camera work and doing the recordings and all that sort of stuff. And uh, great, great, great. Guy. Cool. Great. Hey, speaking of the camera work, do you know when those will be on the uh, the internets? You're well, always pretty um, quick about that turnover. Yeah, half of the half of the first day is already up um, for one of the rooms. Yay, so, so not up like pushed up, but now we're waiting for them to actually approve it. So. If you're, you know, somebody was asking me that, hey, how can I, you know, get involved in, uh, or how do I, how can I watch these videos faster? And I go, well, you can get involved in, you know, make that WordPress, and here's how you do it, and you can sit here and watch all the videos before anybody else. Oh, <gasps> really? Yes, go do it. Here's how to do it. So, <laughs> nice. if you want to help out and want to help my videos get up there faster, um, get in, get in line to watch all the videos in the queue and get them all updated. There's a. There's another video that hasn't gone live yet, but it's the video uh, that we opened Plugin Palooza with. It's a music yeah, video. Yeah, what happened with that? That was fun. <laughs> Can we show that? I that, think that, that would be a great clip to show. Yeah, that's that's gonna we're gonna have to get that online. So we'll 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 get yeah. it posted. We'll, to we'll you. throw in the show. That would make us all happy. Yeah, I don't even know what we're talking about. I just want to ever see whatever video Chris is humiliating someone with is really what I want to see. <laughs> There's no humiliation. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. It was good fun. Um, so let's talk about one of my, unless someone else has something else to say about Saturday, because I wanted to talk a little bit about the after party. Oh, Speaking of video. Before we get to the after party, I think, um, and Jason just touched on it, is um, different ways to contribute to WordPress. Um, and I think we did a, a little bit different format for the contributor workshop this year, so that we really got a roundabout um, knowledge about that's that's more than just WordPress code, right? This is a, a WordPress project. We have things like Jason's talking about. It's all the peripherals, all the community stuff. They organize all these events, things like that. The video team, plugins, themes. Like, there's so much you can possibly contribute to. 
And because there's so much, um, it's easy to get involved in everything that's so fun with your friends and all that stuff and get totally burnt out. And it's something that you don't hear about a lot at work camps or just in the community in general. Everybody is so willing to take on work, and everyone is so willing to have work given, you know, given out because there's a lot to be done. And just just being real with what you can contribute is super important. Um, not overcommitting and being consistent about it, but uh, like Jason said, there's tons of ways to get uh, get involved that don't have anything to do with code. So we did a pretty good job of touching touching all those points and learning to contribute to the workshop as well. Um, uh, to that note, if you don't get involved in some level, then they'll start doing things like putting the menu customizer or putting the menu in the customizer panel, and then whole oh, nother show. What the, whole is that going to be show. like the new media library? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I didn't want to open a can of worms. I just know we have to wait till next week to talk about that. When, but when you say you didn't want to open a can of worms, you mean to say you did want to open a can of worms? <laughs> well, I just wanted to foreshadow because in case people might be concerned that you know we had to talk about WordCamp Orange County this week because it's happening, but I didn't want anyone to think that we might be neglecting the oh so important issue of that sort of thing that we could maybe talk about next week. <clears throat> maybe kind of sort of please, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> So you wanted to ask about the after party? Yes, yeah, so about that after party. <laughs> <laughs> How was that? Did everyone have fun? I saw well, some video you, of Steve. If, you, if you've been to an after party in <laughs> Orange County, you've been to Dirty Nellies. If you've been to Dirty Nellies, you know there's a karaoke. And if you've ever heard karaoke at Dirty Nellies at an after party, then you know Steve is going to rap. The interesting difference this year was that he opened with a different rap song uh, than normal, and he dedicated it to me. Oh, very, Aww. Sweet. very sweet. What song was it? Uh, it was This Is How We Do It. But also, This Is How We Do It, nice. It was really singy rap. You're like kind of a little wainy It was, it was happening. And my, You're like, hey. And, 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 yeah, well, my voice was, my voice, you can hear my voice. My voice was shot. This weekend, <laughs> your voice because you did shots. What? Because it would have been so much better had. Well, of voice. course. I mean, it would have yeah. been perfect. It would have been... You were doing shots all weekend, no, and that's why not. you couldn't sing. Is that what you said? No. That's what <laughs> I heard. Though. That's uh, what, what I else heard. Did everybody really like at work camp? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what did did you guys do any Friday sessions at all, or was it just Saturday Sunday? Uh, there was a, a a long Friday session. Yeah. Oh, golf! Oh, you guys golfed. Yeah. All oh, that's right. That's kind of a, a page out I, I of heard, the uh, Pressnomics. I, I heard the... Margowski was the best golfer out there. He was. Once he left, yeah. our team just went to went downhill <laughs> fast. <laughs> I um I always just try to make contact with the ball. That's, that's a good that's, that's a good start. <laughs> that's that's good life advice. That's all my goal is. <laughs> I, I, I was told that I won a water my, award my that I wasn't really... I wasn't actually there to take it. So um, most most balls in the water, I think. Is the, <laughs> I the think that was the actual award, yes. Mm -hmm. That's that's crazy. <laughs> you you consistently hit it where you shouldn't hit it, huh? Uh, yes, I did. <laughs> was but that was key with Margowski. David David specifically said, if there's water, I'm gonna end up there, and I think there was water at one point at a right <laughs> angle to him, <laughs> and, oh, and, no. and it it went. It, he hit it. <laughs> that's, um, that's, that's skill. Did you guys did consistency? The, that's the first year you've done something like that, right? Like anyone who no, decided no to golf? Way. Done it they did it last year. Three. Oh wow! I haven't oh. cared about golf for a long time. So well. <laughs> ever. ever. It's so okay. I guess they, I just noticed. They, golf has not cared about you either. Actually, so. that is not true. <laughs> not true at all. I won championships in golf when I was eight and nine. So what? I have a plaque. I can no, this is you. sorry. This is on a plaque? Okay. This is yeah. real. This yeah. is a real golf course, not the mini golf thing. This is like different. Yeah, no, eighteen holes. Was this like an AY survey? Say, say it was on the orange team. No, I was on no team. Uh, I don't golf anymore, but I did used to golf. I grew up near a golf course and golfed a lot. And don't golf anymore because it's boring. Steve. But I'm really glad you guys did it. Steve, right. when, 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 do you remember golf with Steve? Is what you're saying? Yeah. 
Steve, when she, was, when she was a little girl, they had her run all across the whole golf course picking up little balls and told her that she won an award. <laughs> oh, she, got, gonna, she got a plaque, right? I'm going to show like, you I my plaque. plaque. I have multiple plaques. I'm going to send them to you. Awesome. I'll have to doctor them. So I was going to say, go get them. Go get them. Right. Yeah. Go, go now. we got three time. minutes. we got three minutes. Can I just say that the food trucks that they had at this work camp were all awesome. Yes, yes they were. I've never I've been to a work camp where they had, like, the volunteers. they had three different choices for Saturday and three different choices for Sunday, and they were all excellent, all of them. And they had coffee, too. That was excellent, too, the coffee bar. Jeff Zinn was in charge of the food, and um, excellent job. He always, yeah. Did you know anything about Jeff and food? So you know he had it on lockdown. Nice. <laughs> Is she really getting the plaque? <laughs> Is, that, Is that really what's happening here? Wait, oh wait, Oleg. Oh, oh, oh my God. God. Oh, nice. Wow. nice. There's one. <laughs> oh my God. You have more than one. You can't see this because that's my my legal name. There you go. This is the putting one that you were discussing, yes. And then, oh wait, I also have this Your one. Your legal name is Penelope? Penelope. Uh, Champions. Can you see that? Champions Mother and Daughter Golf Tournament. Yes. All right. I, I might have been cleaning out my garage this weekend. Okay. That, that's a slice if I've never seen one. That was awesome. Good good job, Say. Good job. Hey, Priscilla, Priscilla you had some say, to say. Priscilla, you want to say something? I just wanted to thank all our volunteers, AJ Zane, <laughs> Jamal Tashan, Dave Braun, Elizabeth Schilling, Jen Miller, Jennifer Tucker, Joel Williams, Marco Cassone, who was an alternate and rocked it, Stephen Harvey, Tish Brisnero, and Varius Smith. We had two automaticians. I had no idea. Thank you all. Woo! Do any of them, do any of them have golf plaques? <laughs> golf clubs? I Steve, I have no sure. idea. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that when the golf the trophy company makes bad golf trophies that can't be used, they just <laughs> put them on the side to sell for a couple bucks. So you can buy, say, a few more if you want. Just put it up right like here. a like a and secondhand golf trophy. I can get yeah. it at the pawn shop. That's right. Look at that swing. <laughs> all right. Oh, uh, I wow. I wasn't there on Saturday or Friday to like embarrass me all. Jason, please golf. end this. Yeah, can we be done? <laughs> no be sure to tune in, next, tune in next week for super important WordPress core issues. Exactly. <laughs> and golf. And we less golf. Saw, and less, like, showing our plaques. I'm positive that next week we're going to talk about all the other awards Say has gotten in her life, but until then, folks, <laughs> we will talk to you later. I'm just muting all you guys. Like, <laughs> 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 All you did. There we go. Make sure you go to our website, DavePWaterCooler.com. <laughs> Click on the links there to subscribe to this madness. And you can also um, listen to us as a podcast as well. Thank you very much for being on the show, okay, everyone. So and see you next year and next week. Bye -bye. Next I'm week. Muted. I'm not muted. Bye. <laughs>